iPad widgets give you important information on your home screen without opening an app. For example, you can quickly see your battery information without going to your iPad settings. Other iPad widgets act as shortcuts, like the Gmail app gives you shortcuts to search or compose emails. Hey guys, it's Rob back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. To add widgets, long press any empty space on your home screen, then tap the plus icon on the far left corner of your screen. You get suggestions of the widgets that you can add and a list of applications on your iPad that have widgets. Not every app has widgets because some developers haven't created any for their applications. To work faster, you can search for those widgets you want to add to your home screen. Let's add a widget for Apple Calendar. Each application has different sizes you can choose from, as well as different purposes. Apple Calendar displays your upcoming events in four sizes. Monthly calendar in one size and also lists your upcoming events with one size option. Let's add the biggest up next widget to our home screen to see what other options you get. You can move the widget anywhere on the home screen. Tapping on a widget opens up the application. To change something, long press it for a pop up menu to remove the widget, edit home screen to change the widget's position or remove some applications from your home screen or iPad. Edit widget to change what is displaying. These editing options also depend on the application. In our case, you can turn on or off the options to mirror calendar app or hide all the events. When you're happy with your settings, tap an empty space on your iPad to stop editing your widget. If you don't like seeing widgets on your home screen, you can add them to the Today view. They basically replace the strip we had in iPadOS 14 with this full screen that can house your widgets outside your home screen. The Today view houses the older widgets for iPadOS 13 under Customize, as well as the new ones. Some developers haven't upgraded their widgets, so their application's widgets are only found here. If you've been missing widgets from the following applications, this is where you find them. The old widgets remain grouped. Once added, you can't rearrange or remove the widgets in today view. You have to go back to customize for that, which is a bit of a hassle. You can also add the new widgets to this old setup which limits all your widgets to the small column on the right. Today view doesn't support the bigger widgets introduced in iPadOS 15. Now we're just wondering when Apple will phase out the old widgets. The new widgets are better, easier to access, and more flexible. The Today view in 2022 just doesn't make any sense. You can group widgets of similar sizes to create stacks. You can group a maximum of 10 widgets, which is not bad. You can also swipe up and down to navigate your stacked widgets. There is no way of telling apart stacked from single widgets unless you try to swipe up and down. You can edit a stack by long pressing it to get options to edit the current widget, edit stack to turn on and off smart rotation, and widget suggestions. Without control over the rotation, smart rotation is useless. It's better to turn it off. That way, you have more control over the app showing on your stack. You can also edit the home screen. Remove stack to delete the group and all the apps in it. In iPadOS 15, Apple just threw the word smart all over the place. We got smart lists and reminders and smart folders in Apple Notes. So far, none of these smart items have actually been smart. Smart stack is no different. You can create it by turning on smart rotation on a normal stack. 
When you create it from the widgets window, you can only choose the size of the widget. You have no control over the applications you add to it. Some developers are creating widgets with shortcuts to help you work faster. The first application we'll talk about is Liquid Text, a PDF reader, which has a widget that lets you scan a document directly from the home screen of your iPad. Since it uses the native iPadOS scanning technology, you can choose to auto or manually scan your documents. You can choose whether you want your scan to be color, grayscale, black and white, or just a photo. You can adjust the edges of the scan. You can retake or keep the scan. Save to add the scan to your documents. Import documents. You can either add to new or an existing current file. Another application with useful widgets is Microsoft To Do. It has an Add Task shortcut widget that takes you to the application to quickly get started with creating your to dos. You can then add all the information for your to do. To fully understand these two applications, we've covered how to fully use them in different videos. We will have a link to them in the description down below. These are some of the different ways you can use widgets to improve your workflow. We hope you found this information useful. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.